What is good, y'all? What a game last night, man. What a game. Daryl Morcel with ice in his veins. Ice in his veins, man. Huge win last night, man. We were down by like 16 at the half or 18. I think it was 16 at the half. And uh, I was texting a, a good buddy of mine, a subscriber of mine, Thomas. Uh, Thomas Rice, good guy. Um, and he was like, man, I'm tired of this. You know, we keep losing to these bum teams and we're getting blown out and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, you know, we're going to come back, you know, because we always do this. We do the same thing as Ohio State. We've done it many times before, just coming back. Illinois, we were down and came back. Indiana, down and came back. Uh, Michigan State, we're up. Then we go down and come back. We're just the comeback kids. Um, every win is a dramatic win. I don't think there's been a win where we have um, just outright won in, in, in the Big Ten, especially on the road. It's just hard to win on the road in the Big Ten. It really, really, really is. And um, especially with Turgeon, <clears throat> I'll say here, I'm not the biggest fan of Mark Turgeon. I do like Mark Turgeon. I think ever since Gary Williams left, Mark Turgeon has brought this program back to relevancy, and we have been in the tournament. Uh, we were in the tournament last year, and then with Melo Trimble, we were perennially, perennially in the tournament. So with Ed Cowan now, we're back. Jalen Smith, Daryl Morcell, Aaron Wiggins is super, super talented. Eric Ayala, I love Eric Ayala, even though he's inconsistent. And um, what's his name? Um, um, Aaron Wiggins. Dante Scott, the freshman, is just a beast. I love Dante Scott. I really like this team. This team can make a deep, 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 deep tourney run, and then you're just they're just scary to the point where they can easily lose in the second and then round of 32 or even the first round. That's that's just how weird this team is and how inconsistent this team is. If they come out lackadaisical like they did against Minnesota tonight where they're down 18, Jalen Smith has three fouls, Ant Cowan gets a tech, then we will lose in the round of 32. No question about it. Now, we should be a second seed. Um, this was just an awesome game. Awesome game. Let's get to the game. I'm just have, I am just have so much to say about the Maryland Terps because I just love my Terps. But um, down by 16 at the half, um, <clears throat> I want to say like 69, so they keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. It's 59-50, chipping away, chipping away. They hit a three. They, Minnesota was knocking down threes. They were just lethal from outside. Daniel Oturo was a beast. Marcus Carr is a beast. They were just killing us from outside. Rick, Rick Pitino's son was coaching up a good game in the first half. And then we just woke up. We, the beast just woke up. We just realized how big and tall and strong we are with Aaron Williams being so big and strong. Daryl Morcell finally locked down, just turned up full court defense. We locked them down. We started hitting some shots, started hitting some threes. Aaron Wiggins with 16 points off the bench. Jalen Smith went to work, was unstoppable, beast, cooking up Daniel Arturo. Arturo had 28 points as well, so it was, it was just a crazy game. But 69-73, um, to 73, I remember I was like, oh, man, this game is over because the ball went out on, uh, I want to say it went on at Ant Cowan. They reviewed it. Then they said it. They, they, at first they didn't. They said it didn't go off Ant Cowan. I think we were down by four. And then they said it went off Ant Cowan off of his foot or something like that. So they go down. They're in the bonus. They miss a free throw. We come back down. Somebody misses a three. Jalen Smith goes up and just tip slams it. Um, nasty NBA type slam uh, from Jalen Smith. Then it's 71-73. We foul them. They're in the bonus. It's like, what, 10 seconds left? Something like that. Um, I forgot his name from Minnesota. He misses the free throw, the front of the free throw. We get it back. We come down. Aunt Cowan dribbles it, passes it to Aaron Wiggins. He's strapped up, passes it to Darren Morsell. Darren Morsell's at the NBA three-point line, shoots it with the, sling sh uh, with the slingshot, just pulls back the form, didn't even leave the form up like this, just throws up a prayer. The ball just toilet bowls in, and I'm just like, wow. I'm like, wow, man, because it, it, it's funny because – I was, I was once again. I was texting. I was texting Thomas. I was like, "Bro," because he was like, "The game's over." I was like, "Bro, look, look at the score. We're down by two points." Next thing you know, the guy missed the free throw. I was like, "I was like, you still watching the game when Daryl hit that shot?" I was like, "You still watching the game? We up by one point, man. We up by one point." And uh, man, it it was crazy, bro. And the game was so late. The game was at nine <clears throat> our time. Of course, Minnesota. They're an hour behind us. And it was, <clears throat> it was a late game. Mark Turgeon said it after the game. He was like, wow, you know, I just want to get home by 4.30. The game was at 9, which was ridiculous. 9 p.m. Eastern time for us, which is a late game for these guys. These guys got school, man. It is what it is. I know <clears throat> I know the NCAA, NCAA couldn't care less. It's all about the money. It's all about the games. But, you know, you got to consider that. The game should have probably been at like 7 or something like that. It would have been at 6 Minnesota time, but it is what it is. You got to play the game. It's, it, when you go to the NBA, you're playing games at 10.30. You're playing games at 9.30 at night, 11.30 at night. So, not at 11.30, but 10.30 Eastern time and then Western time, it's like 5.30. You play against the Lakers. The Wizards play against the Lakers. It's 5.30 over, over and um, or it's, it's 
or 7.30 in California, but it's 10.30 here. And I'm not going to stay up and watch this play the Lakers at 10.30. So, you know, that's just how it is. But, wow, huge, huge game. Big shot by Daryl Morcel, man. Um, a lot of guts, man. Huge, huge comeback, man. I, I still I still can't believe. It was hard for me to go to sleep because it was just a crazy, crazy game. But at the end of the day, we should not be struggling against Minnesota like that. Honestly, but it's the Big Ten. It's the Big Ten. Eleven teams from the Big Ten. Probably Rutgers is going to make it. Illinois is going to make it. Um, Wisconsin, Ohio State's going to make it. We're going to make it. Penn State's going to make it. There's a lot of teams from the Big Ten that are going to make the tournament, man. And there's probably some teams that I'm that I'm forgetting right now. Michigan. I didn't even say Michigan State. And Michigan State's going to make this tournament. So I told somebody yesterday. Somebody was like, "Hey, I'm not. I haven't been watching the games." I'm going to wait till March. I'm like, no, watch these guys play now because this team is an entertaining team. They will give you heart pal palpitations. I'm telling you, they will start out down against the they'll, – they'll go they'll play against Morgan State and be down by 20 and fool around and come back and win, this, and win by a buzzer beater. That's how crazy the Illinois buzzer beater, the Indiana game was crazy. No disrespect to Morgan State. But, you know, this is an example. But <clears throat> I'm telling you, this team is a crazy team. Ann Cowan, Jalen Smith, Daryl Morcell, Aaron Wiggins, Eric Ayala – um, it's just a talented, talented team. So I'm telling you, watch these guys play now before the tournament starts. Don't just be like, hey, oh, I'm going to just wait till March. Watch these guys now. These, this guy, this is a good team. Only thing that's holding them back, I would say, is just to play Colin. So crazy game. I'm still hyped up from last night. Wow. It was just a, a, a crazy. This this is a ES, not a ESPN classic, but a ben, Big Ten BTN classic. So all right, y'all. Hail to them Terps. All right, y'all. Peace.